Hello Scorpio friends and welcome to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes and showing up for the channel. Uh, everything you really need to know about this session is listed down below in the description box, including the decks that we're using, astrological energies for today, the rest of the month into the first week of February and uh, who this reading will resonate with. If you haven't checked out the cross watching channel, there's also a link down below. There I'm going to, I do readings on Wednesdays where I focus on the energy of the other person. So if you're cross watching, I would suggest checking out that channel. Uh, yeah, I separate the readings by reading type as well as um, zodiac sun signs, okay? All right, uh, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Let me know what you think about the split screen. I absolutely am loving this setup, and we've gotten some really good responses to it so far. I'll just fix one thing here because I'm a stickler. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and move forward, though. All right, what are the messages for our Scorpio friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond? <laughs> okay, Scorpio friends, next seven days beyond. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have real quick at the bottom of the deck, and then we'll start into the reading. We have the Two of Wands energy. So with the Two of Wands, this is Mars and Aries energy. It looks like you are making some sort of decision at this point. You might be making a decision about your future or your future plans. Here we also have the Emperor card energy. So this is Divine Masculine energy. Also could be Aries energy. I feel like you're making a decision about uh, something that's going to really uh, impact you, whether it's something that impacts your sense of identity, could impact your health, it could impact your uh, physical location, the space that you currently occupy, okay? It also could have something to do with your business or your, your work or your money, okay? We have the Elder of Swords energy. So with the Elder of Swords, this is Aquarius energy with a minor resonance in the sign of Capricorn. We also have the Five of Pentacles energy, which is Mercury and Taurus energy. Scorpio, I think that you are preparing for some sort of, um, I feel like you're budgeting, you're budgeting, okay? I feel like you might be the head of a project or you might, you know, you might run a project, you might, whatever it is, I feel like there's budget cuts or there's resource cuts that are coming in, okay? I feel like you may actually be privy to this before other people are. So it might be part of your responsibility to communicate this to others, or you may work for like, for instance, the government and you might be helping people kind of walk through their benefits or walk through whatever this new project process that's coming out is, okay? Uh, they're making decisions about it right now. So if you work for government, this could be currently being discussed or going to a vote. For some of you, if, if you don't work for government, then this could be something going down at work. This could also be something where it's like if you're, um, if you own your own business, maybe you are preparing to, you know, scale down certain things or scale up certain things, you know, to deal with COVID or to deal with, you know, whatever might come. But I just, I do get the sense, Scorpio, that you are getting some sort of information before other people. I feel like um, either it's your responsibility to spread this information to the other people or to help them make sense of the process, or it is, um, you have inside information and you are preparing for what feels like could be a bit of a, could be a little bit of a lean period, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Last message for our Scorpionic uh, collective energy friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond. Seven of Swords energy, Moon and Aquarius energy. So, I feel like you're getting. Yeah, I feel like you're getting information on the down low, or I feel like someone, someone might actually be, you know, be invested in your business, or maybe they're just like they could be someone who's just like they have some sort of position of status or influence or information, you know, where they get information first. But I feel like they really like you. I feel like they want to help you out in this situation. But I feel like they're telling you that something, something is about to. Um, slow down, there might be some sort of budget cut, something is happening with money, and they're warning you to save. That's what I'm getting here, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant energy. With the Hierophant energy, that's Taurus energy, also rules the second house, which is all about our money, our work, our income, um, that sort of thing. Also can be about government, society, structure, a company, uh, an institution, okay? Whatever it is, this institution, this company, whether you own the business or not, or you work for the government, it is attached to some sort of budget cuts or some sort of um, accommodating for 
unexpected costs perhaps or something like that but I do feel like someone is someone is giving you some sort of really good good information good counsel with the um, Elder of Swords, it's kind of like lawyer energy. It, it, it could be good counsel, even if they're not a lawyer. Uh, but I feel like it is helping you to, your worry, you, you might be saving for the future, okay? Because you're anticipating whatever this thing is that they're telling you about. Uh, I feel like this is a very smart person. It feels like someone who works with numbers or analytics, to be honest with you. So I feel like when they're telling you this, if anyone else, you know, if, if like a random newscaster or if just like a random person tried to tell you this, it didn't, doesn't matter what kind of ex expert they are you probably wouldn't um you wouldn't care as much you trust this person's information is what i'm getting here okay uh this person has shown you proven results in terms of the counsel that they give you so whoever this person is keep keep going keep keep following their advice what is their advice we do have the knight of swords energy mostly gemini energy with a minor resonance in the sign of uh Taurus. We also have the Ace of Wands energy. I feel like they are telling you to take some sort of action very quickly. They're, they're telling you, you have to make a choice very quickly because whatever they're warning you about, whatever they're telling you about, it's going to happen pretty soon. It looks like it's going to happen sometime in the next two days to two weeks, okay? Probably leaning closer to the next two days is what I'm getting here. Also, it's like, you kind of have to with the hero font next to the um king of uh, knight of swords energy i kind of get the sense that you don't have a lot to go on you have to kind of go on your faith do you trust this person do you trust their opinion okay and i feel like yes you do this person is very intelligent they have their shit together and or they have a job or a position where it's like they would know okay that's what i'm getting here um Let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the what is the seven of swords energy? What is the hidden aspect or you know what is what is not being seen here, especially next to this five of pentacles, two of swords energy, moon and libra energy? Yeah, I feel like this is this is a decision that's being made behind closed doors. I don't feel like everyone knows about this decision or knows, you know, even like the um if they know that someone's voting on something, they don't necessarily know what the specifics about it are. But I do get a sense of, uh, I don't know, I feel like you're getting insight information that is telling you something, telling you to take action. You'll have to decide whether or not you trust this person, follow your own instincts, intuition, and intellect working in tandem with the facts at hand. But I feel like you trust this person, so I feel like you will probably move on this and follow their advice, okay? Let's see what the... Um, the Emperor energy and the Elder of Swords. Possibly it could be an Aries, it, or it could be an Aries, it could be a Taurus, or it could be uh, an Aquarius that's giving you this information. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, Emperor and Elder of Swords. What, are, what is the advice or counsel that they're giving you? Three of Swords energy. Three of Swords energy, Sun in Gemini energy. They're telling you something is about to bust, okay? They're telling you something is about to... Um, something is about to lose value or something is about to you know a mark uh, something is about to bust or uh you know essentially that this is not going to be small cutbacks this is going to be more a, a little more ruthless is what i'm getting also people are going to be in their feelings about whatever is happening here whatever you know whatever the cutbacks are it's really good people are going to feel the impact of it is what i'm getting here okay that's why maybe maybe you're just making haste you're like i maybe they're even telling you hey you know this is probably not going to happen for another two weeks and you're like fuck that i'm getting a jump on it okay even if it's like the next two years but i feel like it's two weeks to mostly closer to two days um but you're like i'm not waiting around i'm gonna take a i'm gonna take action because i trust what you're telling me here okay i don't have any reason to doubt you is kind of what i'm seeing here now with the three of swords is it possible that this person is just trying to like get you riled up or that they're trying to manipulate you possibly let's go ahead and see what is the case are are they really being helpful or are they just trying are, are, are they just trying to exploit you in the situation oops well, we have the Two of Pentacles energy, which is Jupiter and Capricorn energy. We also have the Seven of Wands energy, which is Mars in Leo energy. That is Valor in the Crowley Harris deck. You know, I feel like this person is, they are looking out for your best interests they're, because whatever they're doing, they're going to help you to stay afloat during this time or to at least have an edge during this time where um, there might be some difficulties, especially in the financial sector headed in, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Two of, Swor Two of Swords energy. Tell me more. What's the potential? Um, what's the clarity here for the Five of Pentacles? and the uh, Seven of Swords together about this vote. Nine of Cups energy, Jupiter in Pisces energy. 
let's also pull one more we have the king of king of swords energy again which was over here king of swords energy aquarius energy with a minor in capricorn so i do feel like why does this why do you trust this person why is this person in the know because you know that they were in the room you know that they they have that they're a good source because they have they have firsthand experience of whatever this judgment is or they were one of the first people to know or to hear they could also just be someone who just has a really great sense about these patterns about these patterns when it comes to economics and that sort of thing so that's why i think you're you're going with their with their advice okay what's the um let's what's the closing or takeaway here for uh the seven of swords and the five of pentacles energy We have ten of ten of wands energy, ten of wands Saturn in Sagittarius energy. Yeah, it looks like mostly though you can prepare for whatever this this loss of resources, cutting of budget cuts, whatever it is. You are able to survive even even despite the limitations or the burdens or the um, you know the the uh, hurdles that that you may need to you may find yourself facing okay uh i feel like also here it just feels like yeah people are gonna feel this i don't necessarily think that this is you scorpio but i i definitely feel you're gonna be moved by the impact of other people's experiences all right uh let's go ahead and take a look here uh what's the what's the closing out or taking away of this emperor energy and the king of swords energy again we don't get a jumper this time, I'll just uh, pull off the top, but I like to give it an opportunity. <laughs> All right. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles energy. So the Ace of Pentacles energy, yeah, I feel like this this person, they, they are giving you, uh, they are giving you some very, something of value, information of value. I think that, you know, even though I'm not gonna say you should jump right into whatever they're telling you, I do kind of feel like if you trust this person and, you know, it feels right, then, um, I feel like, you know, take tangible steps towards it, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see here. Ooh, all right. Uh, what are some ways, let, let's ask this. What are some ways, like, uh, in terms of this advice that they're giving you to act fast? No, but tell me, like, like seriously, like, act fast, but act fast on what? What are they advising you here? What are they advising you on specifically here? We have the Seven of Pentacles energy, Seven of Pentacles, Saturn and Taurus energy. So there is some sort of delay or setback or some sort of some sort of lull, some sort of plateau. Plateau is what I'm getting, okay? We also have the Queen of Cups energy, Cancerian energy with a minor resonance in the sign of Gemini. It looks like there's a plateau. Maybe this has something to do with um this could have something to do with real estate because the um for you know the cancerian energy is the fourth house which is a house usually it's not necessarily a physical house but it's the people that live in the household but in this case i feel like it could be attached to uh it could be attached to real estate it could be attached to um anything having to do with like like home goods or having to do with um domestic services having to do with family services having to do with um with uh i don't know it's an industry though okay could also have something to do with education perhaps but ultimately here they're they're warning you maybe it's an industry or maybe it's something that you have investments in at the moment okay or maybe for whatever reason it's relevant to you that's why this person is advising you because they don't want to see you take a loss here that's what i'm getting all right all right uh that was a lot clearer thank you <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see here. What else um, What else can we ask here? All right, uh, tell me more about uh, Ten of Wands here. I mean, I know people are, people are gonna really feel this. They're gonna have a hard time, but what are some other ways? What are some ways that maybe if you find yourself, and I do feel like you're gonna find yourself in a good position after you, after you take action on this advice. So what can you do once you've secured your yourself and your own security? What can you do to help out these people that are hurting? What's the what's the best way you can be of service to the collective or to others uh, during this time? Okay. Let's see if we can get one more. You do help others. 
All right, here we have the Six of Swords energy, Mars, or sorry, Mercury and Aquarius energy. And of course, right now, Mercury is in the sign of Aquarius. It will go into retrograde on January 30th and come out of retrograde still in the same sign on February 20th, okay? We also have the Joker card energy, which is the Fool card energy. This is um, Uranus energy. It's Aquarius energy and Aries energy, okay? Lots of Aquarius energy coming out here as well. Yeah, but I do feel like um, your humanitarian efforts may, may revolve around helping people relocate, helping people move, helping people find home, pla like placements into homes, or um, people, I feel like this sense of helping people finally rest. So I feel like maybe I, I get the sense of like nomads or maybe like... Um, could be travelers, immigrants, people that are just on the move, people that don't have a necessarily a very secure setup. And I feel like you might be advocating for these people or you might be doing something to help to help them, okay? This also could be the homeless, to be honest with you. Or, you know, uh, now that now that I'm thinking about it, it does it does feel like it could be also homeless people as well, okay? All right, what is the um what's the What's the potential outcome here for you, Lib uh, for you, Scorpio, especially for the next seven days? I almost wanted to call you Libra. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, maybe some of you are Libra Scorpio cuspers. All right. What's the uh, potential outcome for you? We do have the King of Hearts energy, which is the King of Cups, mostly Scorpio energy with a minor resonance in Libra. Yeah, some of you may be a Libra <laughs> Scorpio cusper, okay? <laughs> I feel like it's going to, I feel like you're going to, it's going to work out beneficially for you. I feel like you're going to survive, but not only are you going to survive, you're also going to, you know, use whatever you gain. You also are going to use your position of uh, stability in order to help, you know, come to assistance and aid uh, other people, you know, um, human fellow humans. And also it's interesting because it's like, here you are, the King of Cups and uh, Queen of Cups energy, you're going to help in whatever this industry is, or you're going to help to help people that are suffering because of this or that are being affected by this, okay? All right, uh, takeaway guidance, bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups energy, which is Sun and Scorpio energy. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, I feel like whatever you're going to do, you're going to be able to secure secure yourself in the situation, but I feel like also you will feel some sort of sense of obligation or responsibility to help others that maybe aren't as lucky, okay? All right, thank you so much, friends. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you, and all of creation.